mtiani or being in whatever it is you want to hold it. My only prayer is this is step one. Yep. Let's yep. now move to step two. And that is the other step as well. None other than the great himself, Eliud Kipchoge, had criticized the government for uh, not taking any action to be able to help the athletes. But you know, this gender-based violence thing has got to be looked at in totality. It's not just women who face it as well. Even men face it. And if you remember the story of Hosea Macharyang, he also went through a lot before he passed on. Yes. It, here's the thing. It, it, it's a percentages game. Mm. Yes, men do suffer it, but on the whole, the majority will be leaning towards the women. The ones whose stories we have a lot more will be the women. And that is why every time we talk about it, we will all turn and think Agnes Tirop. We'll turn and think other names of athletes who have really had to fight and struggle just to overcome it because they've had to overcome so much. Okay. The question is, how do we take it from wonderful document into implementation? And the action would be, uh, they say they need a place where they can present their grievances as athletes and government also should be able to help them uh, to get rid of rogue coaches, you know, get rid of them and make sure they are not getting any close to the, to, 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 the, to the women. It might be a little bit difficult because, again, you choose your own coach, you know, and now for the government to vet that coach, sometimes the coach is the husband, maybe that's what should be discouraged. A coach should just be a coach, not coach husband, because that combination for me doesn't work. But we hope that those recommendations are going to be uh, put into action soon. And we congratulate the ministry for having held that as well. It's been a week of rants, gentlemen. A lot of rants. And one of the rants came from a former coach of Kenya's basketball team, the Morans. Now, Liz Mills, she complained that she was dealing with a lot of senior entitled athletes, senior entitled players. Drug abuse was there. There was a lot of indifference. There was um, a, a, a obstinacy in the camp. And she says she did a good job with the team. She doesn't understand why these players cannot, you know, encompass new ways of playing basketball. She says the gun and run kind of basketball is a cake. What do you make of this rant, James? She, she was reacting to something else. Remember, she came in in place of Cliff Award. Then Cliff is back. He's returned to the team. Then we find out what's happening. Then the players apparently are the ones who stood up and said, we have a fight with Liz. Mm -hmm. And then they listed a, a list of grievances, including the fact that she said, well, this tournament was just to honor the veterans of this team, but come the qualifiers, we are going to get the much younger players and get them on. And the players sort of, they had their own beef to pick up, to pick with her. And then so they wrote that whole thing. So what she said, she was just responding to what they have said I, I, I but, but i like to look at the issues she, she brought up issues of indiscipline she brought up issues of substance abuse she brought up issues of techniques being used that should be changed because of the new way that basketball is being played are these valid complaints are these valid james are they valid you would say you would say, you would say as a coach she might have her own points mm. Okay, the players have their own points. KBF, on the other hand, said, no, 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 no. This has nothing to do either of these things. You know, hey, Cliff had gone away to Rwanda. She had a job. Now he's back. So he's just back on the contract. Liz didn't have a contract. So at the end of the day, you've got three different but, sides but, but of the story. that's what I have a problem with. <laughs> Does a contract necessarily have to be written? You, you've got house managers in the house. Do you write their contracts? You only agree with them. When you're getting her from Moranga, you tell her, you know what? I'm, I'm going to, uh, you're going to help me at home to work with me. And I'm going to pay you some money you don't write it down it's a contract they did have to be written the question i want to ask you ken is did liz mills have to go to the media with this or could she have spoken to the federation about these findings to be able to help the game move further two things one um she addressed it in the wrong in the wrong forum okay i don't know whether she addressed it in that forum because she had tried in the other one and nobody listened i don't know i give them benefit of doubt but the other thing which is more critical for me bernard is that she was able to take up this team the only uh, uh, female coach uh, of, of a male basketball team in africa and take them to and qualify for um the, the afro basket tournament yeah, now yeah where they beat angola they won I, one I, match. I, I won, won, that's the only match. They won. Angola, at least they beat Angola. 74 73, which mm. is unheard of, has been unheard of you know, for many, many, many years because basketball in Kenya has been the, in the doldrums. Now, are they playing better uh, basketball? Are they qualifying for more tournaments? Are they likely to go forward? That's what I would like to look at. So now that they seem to have been on a takeoff trajectory, then now we are getting rid of her and bringing back the same person, no offense to him, but. 
Yeah. Yeah, I think the federations should work. So, if you engage a coach, work with the coach, you know, yeah. and get the recommendations. And may, I think may, the may. coach, I think the coach should bring the recommendations to the federation as well. This, uh, this, this media kind of fight will, will not work at all. We've got to move on, gentlemen, because of the time. The Kenya National Rally Championships as well had a furore because there was, again, another rant. Now, this time round, and he said very nicely that he's, he's not doing this. It's not about himself. I'm talking about Carl Flashtundo. That's just when they had their award ceremony. He said it's not about himself. He's just asking what happens in order to get a sportsman of the year, a motor sportsman of the year. Put us in the picture, James. I'm sure you have the picture. You know what happened. Uh, well, he, he was up to be uh, one of the contestants for yes. motorsports personality of yes. the year. He lost it. Neither did Onkarai win. And in the end, they all looked at it and they thought, well, when you look at the name of the gentleman who won this, we are like, we are not quite sure why he won it. And then so Tundo went out and said, you know what? This is not personal. It's not about me. I'm just saying I think this could be done differently. Of course, there are stories about conversing four votes to get in and this win voting it. voting system. And, and when KMSF was asked, uh, they said, you know what? There's nothing we can do about it. It's, it's not us. Mm. You know, it's not us. Okay. Uh, w w this is about voting. You know, they say as, as a fair way to end grumbling associated with the process every now and then, when some quotas feel aggrieved, care myself invited everyone to come together and decide amongst themselves who deserves this coveted trophy in a democratic manner. So uh, there is democracy in the voting. Maybe it just doesn't quite go the way you want it to go. <laughs> okay. I, I... I, I, don't wanna, I don't want to go into that because we've talked so much about this delegate system or the voting system and its flows and all that. Eh? We'll just move on. Give us the list of Sawyer then, very quickly, on what's going on there. Um, Tuesday next week, we are in Kakamega, uh, Kakamega County for Sawyer. Sawyer is turning 18, so Sawyer is, fi Sawyer is finally an adult. And there's so many things to look forward to. Male sports personality of the year, Eliud Kipchoge, Omanyala, Emmanuel Coril, uh, Alvin Bufa Otieno is there. In the women's, you've got Faith. Perez Jepsichil, Gentrix, Maxine Wahome, Angela Okutoi, the young one. Then you've got ma uh, men, sportsman who living with a disability, Simon Kibai, Eric Sang, Felix Kipruto is in there. Most promising, the fight of the Wanyonyis, Heriston Wanyonyi, Emmanuel Wanyonyi, Vincent Keter, Andrew Matoka, and... Uh, Ken's uh, favorite person, Ken Taimu Malik. Malik. Yes. Team of the year, you'll have KCB, Tasca, Kenya Sevens, Cabras, and Talanta. Fight it out. In the women, Malkia Strikers, the beach volleyball team that went to the Olympics for the very first time, the Higa Queens, Kenya Lionesses, should be very, very interesting. Make a date next week on Tuesday in Kakamega. All right. Kakamega. Okay, we wait to see who's going to win that one. We've got to move on, gentlemen. And we said earlier on there are issues in hockey. And we'd like to handle those issues now. Lots of questions on what's going on in the Hockey Association and the Hockey Union. And the gentlemen are here to speak to us. Our guests are also ready to speak to us. Let's just see what we're talking about to set the tone before we get into the story itself. <laughs> 